William Carey, sometimes called the father of modern missions, began his barrier-breaking work in India in 1798 with enthusiasm. It took real perseverance to make cultural connections where there had been none before, to learn local languages, to print grammars and dictionaries, to translate the Bible into Sanskrit. On a single day, March 11, 1812, the years of work vanished. A fire in Carey's print shop destroyed the completed Sanskrit dictionary, two grammar books, and 10 different translations of the Bible that they were working on. Also lost was a large supply of imported paper, important deeds and account books. 17 years of work vanished. The core accomplishments of the mission were just gone. Years earlier, Carey had tried to explain to his skeptical father why he wanted to go to faraway India. No one had done this type of work before, which is why Carey is called the father of modern missions. He couldn't tell his father that he was going there to practice medicine because he didn't have any skills as a doctor. He couldn't say that he was going in order to serve the political needs of India because he had no experience in civic affairs. William Carey told his father an ordinary thing that was rooted in his personal ordinariness. He said of himself, I can plod. After the fire, Carey knew what needed to be done. Despite the headaches and the discouragements, he knew that he and his fellow workers could retrace the steps. Start with page one of the dictionaries, page one of the grammars, page one of the Bible translations. And after that, page two, and the trajectory was set. Carey said he believed it is easier to walk a road a second time, and that's exactly what they did. It took years, but they were able to replace what the fire had stolen. By the end of William Carey's life, the Bible had been translated in whole or in part into 44 different languages. He could plod, and he did plod, one foot in front of the other, one page after another. Hardly any of us would list in our credentials, I can plod. Nobody would go into a job interview and say to the boss that the most important thing that he or she could do is, I can plod. The word even sounds a bit thick and ugly when we say it. Yet by any fair reading of scripture, the greatest leaders were plotters. Moses leading the people through the wilderness over a decades long journey. David fleeing from his enemies in the wilderness, hiding in caves. Jesus marching methodically from one village to the next with his disciples. The Apostle Paul making long, looping journeys, facing the same criticism, challenges, and skepticism. It is the plotters who make things happen. They know what it means to persevere. And they know that when someone perseveres, they end up wiser, stronger, and with more of a conviction that they have their eyes set on the right horizon. Here is the secret of plotting or persevering. You have faith that if today you take just one step in the right trajectory, you have done something constructive and God is pleased with it. It says in the book of James, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, You know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. <laughs>